Hello and welcome to Between Sets. Today we are at the Indian Distributor with Russ and Valerie from Gusapalooza. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having Thanks us. For having us. Yeah. You're very welcome. So great to, to have you join us today in, in this location as well. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So before we get going into it, let's talk a little bit, Russ, about your musical background. You've got a fairly extensive background. Do you want sure. to share a little bit more yeah. about yours? Uh, so I'm a, I'm a singer-songwriter, uh, Canadian recording artist, originally from the Newmarket area. Actually born in Guelph, but uh, grew up around Newmarket, a little place called Holland Landing, Ontario. And uh, yeah, I've uh, toured extensively all over North America, lived uh, across Canada, uh, spent a lot of time on the West Coast in Alberta and uh, down in California. And uh, I play a style of music called uh, grunge folk. Okay. So I get, uh, it's, it's kind of a mix of 90s uh, grunge music and uh, 60s folk and a little, a little bit of country. And um, I've been playing. I, I, I wrote my first song when I was a, when I was a boy. So uh, I've been doing it for a while. Yeah, and you're still still playing. I still play to this very day. Yeah. 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 Is it going to be a surprise guest, perhaps, at Gus Palooza? There, there, there might be a surprise guest awesome. uh, show. So, awesome. yeah, actually, awesome. I'll be playing at the in the acoustic barn on the Friday night at okay. uh, 8:30 p.m. Nice. So, I was uh, I was uh, convinced uh, by Valerie to play this <laughs> from year. upper management. Yeah, yeah. Upper management. That's Those right. things happen. That's right. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Valerie? Do you have a musical background at all, or no? So I don't have a musical keen, background. Just a keen interest, just, and yeah. yeah, just uh, when we met and you know heard about the festival and kind of dove into it and been learning along the way and just love it. Yeah. Fan, huge fan. Yeah. Very avid music lover. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I guess you almost have to be to some degree, don't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So let's talk, talk a little bit about uh, here, the indie distributor at the flea market here. Tell us about the, the beginnings of that, if you don't mind. Sure. Uh, I'll take this one, I sure. guess. So, um, yeah, we, uh, we started this project as um, kind of a way to give back to the music community and spread uh, light on emerging artists uh, in the area. Um, it, it, it happened at, uh, at, a, at a strange time uh, in the world. A lot of things were um, not happening. A lot of venues were shutting down. And um, we just felt the need to provide a space where artists could come and, uh, and share their, their original works of art. And uh, so that's how this kind of idea came to life. Uh, we reached out to the market. We told them our idea to bring in artists and film them and promote them as a free service. And that's how it started off. And uh, we, it was, it's been amazing, a blessing. We've had artists come and play the stage from uh, British Columbia. We've had them from Montreal. You know, we had a band uh, called Adams to Ashes, so a great, great bunch of guys. There's two guys that came out from the band, but uh, they drove through a snowstorm to get here. Crazy. Uh, you, you know, just to play this little stage for everybody, so. Um, it's just a, a way of giving back, really. Yeah, yeah. We were talking earlier about uh, surprising of how these bands can uh, kind of came from nowhere out of, all across Canada, really. Yeah, mm -hmm. we've had uh, over 100 bands since we opened in November 2021. So, so two mm -hmm. two years ago, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah we've yeah. had over 100, 100 bands come through, and yeah. And it's uh, a lot of amazing local artists have hit this stage, and we've had everything, all kinds of genres of music. We've had everything from uh, singer-songwriters to full rock bands, um, a little bit of hip-hop, and uh, yeah, so we're open to everything. Yeah, yeah, punk yeah. bands. Well, yeah. we were talking earlier, but you had Bigfoot hands in here, and uh, that's how right. it kind of blew the roof off the they building did. here. They did, yeah, they did. It was yeah. an amazing set, uh, so if you're, if you're watching, definitely go over to uh, the Indie Distributor website and, uh, and check that performance out and all the others, and uh, see the Instagram page as well. Yeah, well, it's, it's an absolutely great thing that you guys are doing here. Let's get on to Gasapalooza, yeah, which absolutely. is coming up pretty darn soon. It is. Yeah. It's, it's crunch time right now. Yes, yeah. it is. Yeah, we're, we're getting down there. Can we talk a little bit about uh, the whole concept of Gasapalooza and, and how, you, how you came up with it? First of all, the name Gasapalooza. Sure. So, so it's it's uh, an interesting story. We were but, talking, yeah. So yeah. It's, uh, there's, a, there's a story behind it. Um, it's, it's the biggest question we have every year is who's Gus? Uh, everybody wants to know who Gus is. And, Obviously, they think it's me and Val, but um, the way that Gusapalooza first started out was uh, it was a celebration for a few uh, traveling bands uh, getting back from a long tour back to Ontario, and uh, we made a uh, um, we made a stage out of a pickup truck and some shelving units, and uh, we put out a call to a bunch of bands in the area. 
a lot of bands answer the call. We had 30, 30 bands show up, and it was just supposed to be one night, and we ended up having a three-day festival in, in the backyard. Uh, many of the bands, we didn't know who they were, and we didn't know who their friends were, so uh, we had an inside joke. Uh, when I grew up in the area, we used to call people Gus that we didn't know very well. And uh, so Gus Apluza was born from there, and we thought, what a great name for uh, a band that's dedicated to not yet famous emerging artists. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So how long has it it's been? Six years now? It's so six, their sixth year. Sixth yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Second year in Cookstown at our new location. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So how did the how did that location come about? It's kind of a it's an interesting place actually, but. Uh, yeah, it so seems we, like it works so well with amenities and, and it, everything else. It does. We were, uh, we outgrew the five acres that we started on Home Landing and uh, we were kind of scouring the internet and driving around all of, like, all over Ontario really, trying to find like where we were going to move Gus of Lizza to. And I just came across the Georgia Bay Steam Showgrounds mm -hmm. on the internet and called them and we went to meet with them and amazing, amazing group of people uh, welcomed us like they feel like family. They feel like absolute family. And uh, they loved what we were doing. And yeah, their grounds is perfect. It's 48 acres. And there's showers. They've got a full oper fully operational RV park. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just, it's a perfect location. And yeah. it's got tons of room for us to grow. And it's a good good central location for everybody to kind of come together. So Absolutely. That's uh, one of the great things about it. So it's it's right off, it's right outside of Cookstown. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can hit Cookstown downtown with a stone if you throw it from there. And uh, we're right, right off pretty much 89, just one side road south of 89. And uh, so it's great for bands coming from Ottawa, from Sarnia, from North Bay. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a pretty equal uh, distance traveling for everybody. It's easy to get up from the city as well. So uh, yeah, and the town of Cookstown has just been great to us. Nice. So yeah. a lot of local businesses have been supporting us. A lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of uh, excitement about the festival, and uh, and we're hoping to grow it there and, and stay there for quite a while. Nice. The um, the amenities. We're, we'll get into a little bit. Let's talk a little bit about the stage setup that you've got going. And uh, um, how many stages do you have? Uh, that will be so there's uh, there's three stages, okay. uh, performance stages, and then there's one. It's a it's a rebel stage we call it, and that's uh, just a signature thing that we've done every year. When the main stage shuts down, we have like a open stage to artists. Everybody's welcome to get up on the rebel stage and play. And that's when the, uh, the main stage is shut down. But we, we bring in two mobile stages for main stages. And it's kind of like a shotgun of music. So one stage is going, the other one's setting up okay. to go. So we get a lot of uh, music going off those so two stages. So it's pretty well consistent going all day. It's Abs constant. Yeah. yeah. Nice. And then uh, the idea is to get as many bands playing as possible and, and spread as much awareness on these bands as we can. And then we've got a barn. Uh, it's a 40 by 80 foot barn that we put the Indie Distributor stage in. And this year we're doing uh, seminars and uh, acoustic players in there as well. We're even having a DJ play at the after hours and we're doing a comedy show oh, cool. in there. Uh, we like to also spread attention to all art forms. So comedy is big for us as well. We want to give them a, a platform as well. And, uh, and Valerie has been working really hard uh, behind the scenes on the seminars uh, to offer artists. So. Yeah, that's a new, new thing this year that we've brought out. And it's just basically to help these artists um, build their brand and get to know things that they might not be so business savvy with. So okay. artist contracts, uh, we've got um, somebody coming out from a legal firm in mm -hmm. um, Toronto. Uh, so he's going to be doing introductions to artist contracts and mm -hmm. kind of just teaching them, you know, the ins and outs of that kind of thing. Something the bands, a lot of these bands, they've, you know, they're very, very talented musicians, but they just need a little bit of a boost, you know, in, in the business side of things. Yeah, um, including myself. So I'm like, I'm taking full advantage of, of yeah. this as well. I, I'm a little bit, uh, you know, <laughs> excited, My, you know. Uh, it's, it's something that we really want to help bands get to the next level. So that's what our entire festival is about. Yeah. Shedding light on emerging artists and giving the idea of hope and opportunity in this area, saying, hey, you know, if you've got something going on, if you're, you know, if you're serious, we got a stage for you to come play on. And uh, one of our biggest objectives is to bring out movers and shakers in the music industry to have uh, eyes on these bands and promote them and say hey you know we've got some up and coming uh real talent here yeah so and it's it's primarily independence um 
writers and, and bands that are... It is all independent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we, yeah. we're just looking for independent, unsigned artists at the moment just to give them a platform. Uh, and hopefully that they become signed. You know, we want them to have the best career ever. We want them to blow up. Uh, and to do, go on and do great things. We just want everybody to see them first on our stage. Yeah, 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 it's awesome. Let's talk a little bit, uh, we talked, just touched on the amenities there, mm -hmm. but, and we were joking around earlier, that there's showers <laughs> there. There's showers. Yeah. Yeah. That's a big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's talk a little bit, because I understand there's food vendors, there's pretty well something that once you're there, you, you're pretty well set for the weekend. Mm -hmm. Yeah, generally. for sure, yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a bunch of food, local food trucks coming out. Um, local alcohol vendors coming out. We've got Flying Monkeys this year, Collective Arts out of Hamilton. We're uh, pretty excited about that. Absolutely. And uh, there'll be artisans of all, all shapes and sizes out. So yeah, it's definitely, once you're there, you're there for the weekend and come camp and you know, you've got everything that you need. There's music, art, comedy, like it's, you're set and showers. And showers. And showers. And, showers. Yeah. and, showers. and uh, there's uh, power RV spots. So we've got uh, an RV park. So, if, you know, we've got an RV or a okay. trailer. You can come, you can plug in mm -hmm. for the weekend. And there's a family campground. Okay. Uh, so it's kind of set up to the front where it's a little bit quieter. Okay. Away from the Rebel stage where the after hours kind of party happens. And that's a great point, too. So it's so important for us that this is an all ages event um, because there's no bigger music fans than kids. That's right. I, you know. Um, we really learned that here at the Indian Distributor watching them all. Start. It's the kids that they start. And they really and we're always thinking the years yeah. down the road. Absolutely, and they become your fan and they're your fan right. for life. And uh, so it's and uh, we have kids, so we want to be able to have our family at a festival as well. So it's important to us to have uh, families there that can bring their you know and and to have games and things like this for them to enjoy as well. And then to, to also you know create the next generation of bands and artists and. Uh, and have them aspire to play on those stages as well. Yeah. And speaking of kids, this year we uh, have partnered up with, or sorry, teamed up with uh, Guitars for Kids. Yes, mm -hmm. I was going to mention yeah. that, yeah, which yeah. is great. So, Good yeah, for so doing that, yeah. Guitars for Kids, and so a portion of our ticket sales are going to go to them, and we're also yeah. accepting any uh, used guitars um, that we'll transfer down to them, and then they mm -hmm. can help uh, distribute them to kids in need. Yeah, so if you got an awesome old guitar program. kicking around, uh, bring it with you uh, and yeah. uh, we'll send it off for you. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. no, it's a, that's a great program. Mm -hmm. Great that you guys are involved with that too. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you select uh, the artists that are to perform? Is it, is it a huge, I know we talked earlier about where the, where the applications are coming from, but how do you actually go through the process of picking and selecting uh, the bands or individual artists that are performing. So it's been uh, it's been a uh, kind of a um, something that's been building year after year. Um, our process of how we do it. So last year we had 75 bands come out and play, um, which was just insane. Uh, it was we're we're dialing back this year a little bit, uh, but so this year we had a thousand submissions uh, from all over North America. And uh, the idea of what we're trying to do is we don't, we don't, it's not about how many fans you have or what your following is on social media. Uh, it comes down to what you're doing and, and if you're looking for opportunity and uh, what you sound like. So if you've got your, if you've got your game together, uh, if you've got your sound together and you're ready for the next steps, we're really looking for those artists uh, and wanted to shine them a light because part of what we do is we also give away awards. Uh, we have an interactive festival, so we ask people to come out beforehand. We ask them to go to our website, check out the artists, listen to our playlist, uh, choose their favorite artists, and then during the festival you can come out and actually vote or have your say for your favorite band. And the, all these things get tallied together. And then we give away things like radio time, uh, studio time, cash prizes. Uh, last year's winners, uh, award winners, came back and headlined the festival this year. Uh, that's uh, the Human Drive, um, and Shoemaker Levy and Francesca Panetta, which are just all amazing uh, human beings and amazing artists. Uh, and so this year we spent a lot of our time promoting those bands as headliners. Uh, we want to give uh, a light on them, so that's something that we offer as well. Uh, so the selection process is, is kind of like, okay, um, if, you're, if you're just recording your first song in your living room, you've gotta, you might have a little bit more work to go before you're ready, mm -hmm. uh, but don't stop. You know, definitely come out and network uh, and see what it takes to get to that next place. You might, meet, you might meet, uh, meet your next uh, bass player, your, your next drummer, uh, your next manager. You, know, uh, you might meet a, a video uh, filmmaker. 
So, um, yeah, it's it's just who's ready, who's ready to go. Yeah, we well, actually you mentioned filmmaker. I don't think we touched on that yet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But um, with with the, all the extra things that are going on, there's also a film contest going on. Yeah. Do you want to explain yeah, a little bit so more on year, that? Yeah, so this year, yeah, we've uh, opened up a film contest, and uh, we're inviting filmmakers to come out and do uh, artist interviews, performance videos. Um, we're going to have pri prizes for for the the different. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to take over? Sure. <laughs> he's, so, um, he's the one set up this one. Yeah, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's uh, myself, I know the marriage between uh, film and music, and it's, it's, we go together. It's just how it works. And I want to provide a space for filmmakers and artists all alike. But uh, as we were talking before, so mm -hmm. um, as a songwriter, you, you come out with your next single, you need a music video, you need somebody to write about you. You need a blogger to, you know, put you on their show. Uh, so there's all these things that you need to go along with your, your release. And I thought, what a great idea to have all these people in one place uh, that can meet, network, and build and collaborate together. And um, the idea for the film contest uh, was kind of, uh, there's not so much going on for filmmakers as well. So we wanted to provide a space for them to come out, promote their brands, and, and shoot something that they might have some fun with. So it's kind of like a 48-hour film contest. Uh, we're asking them to come out. They can come out for free when they, submit their, when they submit their videos to us. And we've got some really cool guest judges um, that are going to help us out with the film contest. Do you want to expand contest. a bit on that, actually? Absolutely. Got some great, great yeah, so uh, we have Angie Nolan, who's uh, decided to uh, uh, help us out this year. And uh, she's a, uh, an amazing person, amazing filmmaker. Uh, and she ran the Whistler Film Festival for years uh, out in uh, Whistler, BC. And uh, we have uh, um, Sergio Navarretta, who's uh, he's a local filmmaker from the area. And uh, he's a really interesting guy who's doing some uh, really cool stuff. Um, and uh, he's got a, a movie out called The Cuban, which everybody should check out as well. And we also have, I'm really excited about, is a friend of mine actually, his name is Matt Bass. And uh, Matt's done some incredible work uh, down in Los Angeles. Um, he's, uh, he's made videos for uh, the Beastie Boys and Marilyn Manson oh, cool. and some of these, uh, you know, just bigger than life characters. And so I'm really excited to send these guys these videos and have those connections get made with them as well. Uh, so it's kind of, a, I'm hoping it can be an opportunity for some local filmmakers to get their stuff out and get representation and uh, see where it goes. It really boils down to a lot to networking, isn't it? And, and yeah, it's, it's a great concept because you go to so many festivals and it's just it's straight on music, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's like you guys really took it one step further and went into detail with it where everyone, non-musicians to, like I said, artisans of all sorts can really work together and I think it's great mm -hmm. to... Well, and that's, we're even inviting bands to come out this year who aren't on the bill. It's like, come okay. out, network, mm -hmm. anyways, we're offering discounts, uh, yeah. so they send us an email to bands at gusblizzard.com and we'll send them a discount code. And uh, just to come out, network, and take advantage of all of these people being in one place at one time. Mm -hmm. We're really focused on creating our foundation this year, um, so we know that uh, these connections are going to, we've already seen it. We've seen the bands hit our stages and they're traveling together, they're getting shows in different places and we love seeing it. And we know that um, you bring all these people together that something amazing is going to happen. And not only that, but it's going to help the emerging underground uh, independent scene altogether. So not just the music scene, but our emerging entertainment scene. So we're looking for anybody, a curator who's got a playlist uh, on Spotify. If you're, you know, if you've got an internet radio station, if you've got a podcast, if you've got, uh, if you're, if you create album art, you know, uh, or you're a journalist or a filmmaker, or you know, you're in the space somehow, some way. Even if you create amazing works of art installation, uh, a band might want to use that in their music video. So we're trying to create opportunity in every which way we can, and uh, this year we're just giving things away. So uh, absolutely looking for people to come out and take advantage of it. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's gonna be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, 
Your, your marketing and networking, et, et cetera, is, is a, I've, I've been trying to follow it on social media. You guys have done a really good, great job on that. Um, between, uh, like I said, with Facebooks and sharing stuff, is are you both involved with with that side of it? Or is there one person that's kind of in control? We're uh, so we wear a lot of hats. Yeah, yes. me and Val yes, do. You do. Uh, yes, we, you do. We do it all, and we've actually a, a great friend of ours, uh, um, Puppet, is helping us out this year with a little bit of yeah. content as well, which okay. has been amazing because it takes a lot of time to do everything, and uh, it's a yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a big undertaking. Yeah. So, oh, yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah, one of the marketing things that I want to just mention is our, our Meet the Bands page on the website. Yeah. So okay. It, uh, we've got all of our bands up there. You can go on, check, it, check them out, and click to their link to their website. Um, mm -hmm. We've got our Spotify playlist that you can, you know, play ahead, ahead of the festival. Because our big thing is, like, we get the comments of, well, we don't know any of these bands. And it's like, no, but that's the point. You know, yeah. Like, yeah. that's why yeah. mm -hmm. our motto is where you see them first. Yeah. Absolutely. And uh, so we've got these playlists and things put together in the fans page so you can get to know these artists before you come out to the festival. So you can sing along to the songs like you would going to, you know, a headliner festival or, or you know, these other festivals. It's you can really get to know them, and then you come to the festival and you can actually meet them, right? So it's, uh, the people, it's an awesome thing. The people yeah. in Seattle didn't understand what was happening when it was happening either. So That's a good point. You know, like these scenes, they happen, and when there's a happening, you should uh, get interested in it. Get interested in these people because it happens for just a split second in life sometimes, and there's a spark, you know, and that's what we're really trying to do is create that spark. And you are the scene, you know. Some of these bands are going places, and they will be, you know, playing bigger stage at, in their careers, you know. So if you want to meet them, you want to see them first. Now's the time. Now's the time. Autograph. Get it first. Get in there, buy their merch, help them out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's 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 hard out there for artists because, especially the way that online platforms that we're working these days, you know, it takes a local base to be the foundation for these artists to springboard off of. Yeah, and you would know that from your years Absolutely, of I spent well. many years in, in uh, you know, I've played some, uh, I've played some, I've played some places, you know, back, back rooms of, uh, you know, uh, uh, I played behind the, uh, the, the uh, chicken wire where they throw beer bottles oh, yeah. at you, you know, I've been there, man, so it's, <laughs> I, know what, I know what the grind is, yeah. you know, and uh, I know when you have a, a group of people that support you, uh, that's all you need, you yeah. know, and uh, that's, what other place could you go to uh, in three days and see so many bands that are up and coming, you know, it's, it's like a year's worth of, uh, of bar hopping. You know, so um, yeah. Yeah. Um, preparation. I, I know you guys are up to your neck with preparation. Is there obviously there's a lot of work, but how much detail, how much volunteers do you need um, to, to get this going? Let's talk a little bit about the volunteers and, and the prep work that, that's yeah, involved with so this. We, uh, we've got a team of about 50 volunteers this year, and uh, we're always wow. looking for more. So Absolutely. I mean, if anybody's yeah. watching, yeah. they want to come get involved and Absolutely. join the family, we're always looking for more. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, between, you know, gate, the three different stages, just what it takes to run, you know, an entire camping festival, it's, uh, we, very much appreciate our volunteers, and mm -hmm. a lot of them have become family. Absolutely, and, uh, yeah. we couldn't do it without them for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. yeah. Where do you think Gus, Gus Palooza will will be in, let's say, five years? Is, is there long term goals with it, or or is the camp plan really to just continue what you're doing, and that is keep the local side of it, keep the independent side of it, and keep it under control, I guess, to some degree, perhaps? <laughs> Um, You've got the space out there. We do. Uh, yeah. So I mean, there, there's I, poor Valerie. She uh, she has to live with me and, and my uh, my brain kind of. Uh, as an artist, we tap into something sometimes, and we see where things can go. Uh, mm -hmm. So we have absolutely great hopes and plans for Gasapalooza in the future. Um, for right now, we're trying to create something that. Uh, proof of concept, so we want to be a springboard, we want some of these artists to successfully reach new heights because of our festival, uh, we want to be that reason for them, and uh, once that starts happening, we can start looking at uh, maybe taking it on the road or, or uh, growing it uh, however we can. Yeah. Is there any names uh, coming up that have surprised you that you have booked and, and are playing? Absolutely, every year. Yeah. Every year I'm, I'm blown away. I can't believe that uh, the bands that submit aren't absolutely famous already. Mm -hmm. um, honestly, our headliners this year are just, uh, they've blown me away. 
Um, that's why they they are where they are as well. You know, just because I, I believe every single one of those um, uh, acts is ready for uh, more. But yeah, this year, I mean, uh, there's. I, I don't even know where to start. It's, yeah, that's the thing. Is sometimes we get asked, like, what are your favorite, you know, who's your favorite band that's coming in? Well, we can't really say that because it's biased, but realistically, all of them are because... That's why they're there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's and like, they're all our favorites because yes. that's, that's why they're on the lineup. The way with the award system, too, it's, it's not on who's better or best or anything like that. We're more geared towards... Um, it's it's who's ready and who's really caring about what we're doing. We put a lot of work and effort into this, and we're looking for the bands who are also looking to help other bands. So um, the bands that really promote other bands, that they, they're going the extra mile. They're you know they're like um, spreading awareness about the festival wherever they go and, and helping out they as understand well. Understand that sense of community. And, yeah. trying to build. and they're helping as well. So. But uh, there's, we have such an array of talent and across a spectrum of different genres, and we're open to all genres. So we're open to electric, to hip hop, to country, to, we want to be a, a platform for all of them. Nice. So uh, it's great. Um, I mean, last year, I, I looked into the concert field and I saw a guy with a mohawk, a blue mohawk, uh, next to a guy with a cowboy hat, next to a guy with uh, a sideways hat on, next to, you know, yeah. and, and I was like, this is it. You yeah. know, this is what we're trying to do. So yeah. just kind of bring everybody together into one space. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. How has the, uh, the local community been supportive of it as far as, um, well, the whole festival in itself between the, the marketing and your vendors and, and uh, media? Have you gotten pretty good support from? We have had Amazing. Yeah, yeah. a yeah. lot of support on all, like our sponsors. Uh, a lot of the local businesses have sponsored us. Mm -hmm. uh, let's put up posters, billboards, that kind of thing. Uh, volunteers, a lot of local people who have never met us before, never anything, you know, like they just go out on a whim and they're like, yeah, I'll volunteer for the weekend. So very supportive. Very yeah. supportive, especially the local music communities, mm -hmm. uh, the local artists. Um, you know, they've they've just they love what we're doing, and they a lot of people also see the need as well. Um, we're trying to really fix an issue uh, that we find was just not enough opportunity for great emerging artists. And Certainly we want, needed, yeah. And now we have bands from Nashville contacting us, and we're like, there's enough going on in Nashville. Yeah, you know? yeah really, eh? And so, how yeah, festival? yeah, That's so, awesome. That's yeah, awesome. it's amazing, you know. So we're really trying to be this new interesting um happening yeah cool okay uh tickets how can people purchase tickets and uh, any last minute little information that we can get across before we wrap it up sure yeah tickets can be found on our website at okay. mm -hmm. and uh there is a, there's day passes there's three day passes if you're not camping out there's weekend passes which include free tent camping, free camping. and the dates September we'll give them the 15th dates. to 17th yep Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's Perfect. Georgia based team showgrounds. And there's staff. also transportation you have to provide as well? We do. Yeah, we got the uh, Gus bus going from uh, Yorkdale Mall up and up to the festival grounds and back. Nice, mm -hmm. nice. Thank you so much, guys. Thank Greatly you. appreciate yeah. it. I'm glad we can Thank finally you. do this and wonderful to, to meet you both and you all well. the best with Gus of Palooza. Thanks, Thanks so much. So much Ian. Yeah. You're very welcome. Thank you.